The gift you give yourself. The right face matters. Take Nightcrawler, for example, one of my all-time favorite movies. Did you know DiCaprio was actually considered for this role, which is hilarious because how did they even come up with that? But I'm so thankful and happy that he wasn't picked because nobody could have embodied the craziness of Lou Bloom's character the way Jake Gyllenhaal did. Other jobs? I don't know, like, like a week here, week there. Why hire you? <laughs> Sell yourself. Or how about J.K. Simmons in the movie Whiplash, another favorite movie of mine? No other actor could have captured the character's intense, insane, psychotic, obsessed energy the way Simmons did. Cool. There are so many other actors that brought their characters to life in the most perfect way possible. Rosamund Pike as Amy Dunn in Gone Girl, Keanu Reeves as Neo in The Matrix, Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter in Harry Potter, Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow in The Paris of the Caribbean, Jesse Eisenberg as Mark Zuckerberg in The Social Network, Peter Dinklage as Tyrion Lannister in Game of Thrones, Steve Carell as Michael Scott in The Office, Jodie Comer as Villanelle in Killin' Eve, Killian Murphy as Tom Shelby in Peaky Blinders, Brian Cranston as Walter White in Breaking Bad, and Emma Stone as Bella Baxter in Poor Thing. These actors captured the very essence of their characters, making it impossible for us, the audience, to separate the actor from the role. Of course, on the other end of the spectrum, we have really bad acting and really bad casting. For example, so many people thought that Emma Watson's performance as Belle in Beauty and the Beast was just flat and boring. Even though I personally really liked it, I don't know, a lot of people thought that she just didn't have that oomph, you know? Or that Chris Pratt in the movie The Tomorrow War just doesn't seem to work. Tom Cruise in Interview with the Vampire was labeled as to American. Keanu Reeves' performance in this movie, specifically because of his not so great British accent, was an unforgettable performance for the wrong reasons. Please. Doctor! Please. And this next one is my personal opinion, and that's that the casting for the recent Mr. and Mrs. Smith series were a complete mistake. And I can tell you why using three simple words lack of chemistry. I'm actually going to include Neo and Trinity in this as well because they had zero chemistry and I will never understand why they were partnered together. It just makes no sense to me, but whatever. I love Donald Glover in every project that he's been in and I really wanted to get into this series so bad. I tried so many times, but it was impossible for me to watch it because of the lack of chemistry between him and the actress. And to be honest, I don't blame Donald because I know he's a good actor. I blame the actress. I've never seen her in any else but I really hope that she improves her acting skills because she offered the most boring, lazy and flat performances I've seen in a very long time. There was just nothing engaging or interesting about them as a couple. Maybe individually they're really good actors but together not so much and I didn't find them relatable and this is the key, the secret ingredient to really good acting and really good casting. Relatability. If you manage to cast the perfect actor for a role, someone who's relatable and authentic, you're 99% there to making the perfect movie. I'm a strong believer that there is no other production element that matters as much as casting. You can have all the CGI in the world and the most perfect set design and costumes and the most creative and productive crew, but if you don't choose the right actor for the role, you won't have a good, memorable movie. I personally think Steven Yeun and maybe Dev Patel and Jodie Comer or someone like this actress would have been a much better fit for the role of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. But I think the most important element that they missed like completely in this series is chemistry. They needed to have chemistry. 99% of great filmmaking is great casting. So filmmakers, please, for the love of cinema, invest in better casting directors. 